Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week, brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. And welcome to Casa de Mo with Sally. Uh, just for the record, Mo's kind of propped up right now. He's about to fall asleep. Were you fading out there? Absolutely. Were you sitting out by the pool? I was working. Yeah, I was out working outside, and I, uh, yeah, I was. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> you were moaning. working. I was. I was trying to work, and I was moaning, and I was trying to you know, not to fall asleep. So yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I may fall asleep. If you see the camera start doing this, <laughs> that's that's me falling asleep. That's me no falling asleep. Um, hi, Curtis. Hello. Okay, so we're making blackened mahi-mahi on an arugula salad. And um, we went to Doris today. We got all the ingredients and uh, we had a slice, a slice of pizza. We got some wine and um, we got some cheese. And we'll start off with our wine and cheese. Can I tell you? Yeah. Yes. We went to Doris. I got my glass of wine. I got a slice of pizza and a garlic knot. And I went outside and they have bocce ball courts there. Yeah, they do. Out, outdoors, it's called the Bocce Cafe or Cafe Bocce or whatever. Anyway, two guys were playing bocce ball. Curtis, do you know anything about bocce ball? It sounds like something I'm not old enough to play. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, these guys were much older. <laughs> I don't know anything about bocce ball, but I became fascinated. Did it look fun? It looked fun, it, and, and they knew what they were doing. And, uh, yeah, I sat there, and I ate my pizza and my garlic knot, and I had my wine, and I was just kind of fascinated by these guys. I don't know anything about bocce ball. I don't know what, you know, the purpose is or how to keep score or anything, but uh, it looked fun, and they were happy. You know, why it's, you know why it's calling you, right? No. Because you just had a birthday? So you're hearing the call of the bocce ball. <laughs> is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Well, the guy's pants were pretty far up on his waist. There it so is. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. One of them had like a belly brace on, and uh, yeah, the other one. So yeah, that's. <laughs> Those may be my new friends. <laughs> I may be going to play bocce ball at Doris Italian Market with those guys. You never. Uh, I want to say hello to, to uh, Dana Stokes, D Stokes, first one in. Uh, there's Caroline, Joanne, John. What's up, John? Hi, John. Joining us from, I believe, Georgia. Is that right, John? John in Georgia. And then, uh, yes, D Stokes says, I think Curtis is trying to say you're getting old. I ain't Stanley. trying to say that. I just said it. <laughs> no, there may be. <laughs> Curtis is trying to come up with the evidence of me, you know, uh, with my pants pulled up around mm -hmm. my, uh, my boobs. I was trying to, you know, be funny with Curtis yesterday, and I realized he left, and I got caught with my pants up around way high, and there could be video evidence of this. Probably is. Yeah. All right. Appetizer? Sure. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Thanks for joining us. We are making blackened mahi-mahi on an arugula salad. Hi, Marie. And, you know, you can use a different fish besides mahi-mahi if you want to. You can use swordfish if you prefer. Uh, you know, whatever you like. There's Roland. Hi, Roland. All right. Just wait for the inappropriate comments to be made. <laughs> hey, you guys can share share this video, too, if you want, uh, with your friends. That'd be awesome. That'd be nice. We'd Would help that. with the numbers. What were you going to say, Curtis? I said he's going to be good. Yeah, you're going to be good, Roland? Is he going to be rolling good, or is he going to be good good? Oh, oh rolling good, probably. <laughs> All right, the appetizer. Yep. We got some cheese spread today. Yeah, they've got all kinds of great cheese spreads. Smoky bacon flavor. Mm -hmm. Pine River smoky bacon flavor. Yeah, and a little tip, obviously, let the cheese sit out a little bit so it's easier to spread. You know, kind of like butter. Mm -hmm. You want to let it soften. And I did something a little different. I got rice crackers instead of regular crackers. Mm -hmm. I love rice crackers. And just look, There you go, Mo. I'll give you that one. Mm. What do you think? Oh, wow. Mm. Holy hell. Mm -hmm. mm. That's cheddar, smoking, and bacon. How can you go wrong? Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Made with aged natural cheddar. Mm -hmm. Got it right there. Wow, in that's the deli good. department. That's really good. And then we picked up this wine. 
this wine uh, I discovered. Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago, I, I said, let me check this out. It's Waterbrook. They have a Cabernet. They have a Merlot. And it's on sale. I think it's like normally 16 bucks, but it's like nine ninety nine or something like that right now. It's delicious. Really good. It really goes well. And I will tell you, the wine that we had last week called uh, Altered Dimensions or something like that. Uh, was that the one with the cool bottle? Yes, very cool bottle. Nick told us today that he got a great deal on that. And that's why it's a BOGO right now. And he goes, it's flying off the shelves. Nick is one of the owners. Of yes. The and so if you like it, you know, if you haven't checked that wine out, it's, it's a altered, right altered dimensions, it's a BOGO right now. It's like 16, 17 it's bucks. It's normally $17 a bottle, but you get two for $17. Yeah. And he said it's flying out of there right now. Yeah. And it's really, really good. It makes a nice uh, gift too. Oh gosh, yeah. I, I, we picked up more today. It's it's so good. Right. So yeah, this is uh, well. Are you gonna? Are you not gonna? What what are you doing? Are you, you want another yeah, I gotta have one. What more. do you think of the rice cracker? Jeez, <laughs> oh, give me one cracker. All right. Wow. I'm about to hi, Bear. Hi, there. Kathy. Ooh, look at all that. You see that bacon in there? Let me see I that. Do. Oh, mm -hmm. oh man. Hey, Ann Marnie. Uh, Michael, no, we're on we're on the same station. One hundred five point five. Did he lose us? He said, are you guys on a different radio station? I'm going to heat up some olive oil for our lobby. Hi, Cam. Oh, am I supposed to come over there? No, no, no. I just want to heat it up so the can is ready for the rest of the fish. Hi, Kathy. Bear. Bear likes mahi-mahi. I love mahi-mahi. It's on sale at Doris right now. Nine ninety nine a pound, which is really cheap for mahi-mahi. Um, if you're not familiar with that. Okay, so I've got my Mahi Mahi fillets. Can you see that? And I'm just going to douse it with a little bit of olive oil. You guys can get this recipe at 1055online.com. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. Curtis will probably put a link in the feed as well. So you I can might. make this. <laughs> he might. You okay. can make this uh, this weekend if you want. Yeah, it's real It's real quick, real easy. And... Um, we're going to blacken it, and I did make this a little spicy. You can dial down the spice, and while the fish is cooking, I'll explain to you how what I what I put in the blackened uh, rub, or you can just buy blackened, you know, already mixed. But I had all the ingredients, so I didn't see the need to buy yet another spice because I have a lot of spices. Hi, Milton. Okay, so we're just going to season the fish. And I put extra, uh, just if you take a look at the recipe, I put more salt in it than the recipe calls for. I just, I, I don't know, maybe it's just my palate. I, I like salt. Well, that seems like a lot of blackened spice there. It, you, it you, is. You can, you can go light on that if you want, right? You oh, can go yeah. lightly black. But you and I like, we like it. We do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't have to go this much. And if you don't use it all, just put it in a, you know, a jar with the lid on it. You can put it in the pantry, and it, it'll last a few months. You could you could use this to blacken chicken, shrimp. You could this this salad actually would work really nice with shrimp if you wanted to. Shrimp, shrimp, scallops you would be nice. Blacken both sides. Oh yeah, we boil both sides and we blacken both sides. Curtis, do you have any questions? <laughs> no. Curtis okay. is big on fish. I'm just curious. But Curtis, you would this would be really good with shrimp. Yeah, or I could just get the shrimp. <laughs> Do you not like blackened shrimp? Huh? Do you not like blackened shrimp? Yeah, like I said, I'd get the shrimp. Yeah, you get the shrimp. Well, since they had the mahi on sale, I wanted to take advantage of it. Okay. I hit something. Sorry okay. about that. Hey, Curtis, take us to the other camera, please. Okay. Because I'm going to go for the Pan is nice and hot. <laughs> Can you see? And then we're just going to put my newspaper around for the splatter. I got my olive oil in there. It's shimmering. I'm moving the oh. camera. Get the move yourself up. That's a little too hot. Got my olive oil shimmering in there. And then we're just going to. Now, if you're new to the show, this is a convection uh, stovetop. So. Mm -hmm. 
the reason for the paper is you can't do this on like a regular stovetop because obviously there'd be a fire. Yeah. But you can do this on a convection stovetop. Uh, makes it easier for the cleanup. It sure does, especially when you're sautéing or frying something that might splatter. All right. We're going to let that go about three minutes a side. Okay. So while that's cooking, let's go. Can we use your camera? All right. Back over to the other camera. Let's make a stop over here. Oh. To the, uh, Yo, you're getting cheese sorry. again. Yeah, yeah, I need some more cheese and crackers. Uh, this is smoky bacon flavor cheese spread. Waterbrook Cabernet Sauvignon, which is on sale. Oh, this is this is good stuff right here. Oh, see that? Woo, that's food porn. Mm. All right. This will come together quickly. So, you want to make your own... Uh, black and rub or seasoning if you want to call it this is what you need is paprika smoked paprika a little thyme a little cayenne uh, a little oregano and um, salt and pepper and then you can make your own you see i have extra so maybe next time we'll blacken some shrimp all right roland has a good tip he says uh, black and spices safety tip wash your hands before you go pee pee thank you Roland. Kim, actually, the cheese isn't. It isn't very bacony. I don't find it. I don't it, think it's overly bacony. Yeah. No, I don't. It, it's it's not. Uh, no, they don't overdo it with the bacon. No, I think it's nice, and it goes really nice with red wine. Curtis Milton likes your product as a producer. That makes it sound like I'm selling drugs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he likes your product. And the um, the recipe for. For the, the black and seasoning is also in the on the website, which is in the feed. Your, yeah, it's in the feed as well. You can, can you smell it? You can smell those seasoning starting to crust up Woo! the fish. Milton has a tip. He says he got some items at Doris. He said they have the best Italian Italian ceviche. Oh, I don't oh, know if we've really? tried that yet. We might have to try that. And Kim, while she's doing that, let me show you if you want to. It's Pine River Smoky Bacon Flavor Cheese Spread. Very good, not too bacony. I'm sorry, all right, okay. back to you. So, um, and for the dressing for the arugula salad, and again, you can make a little extra and keep it. It's simply uh, a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, of course, Dijon mustard, honey, a shallot that I grated in there, and of course, salt and pepper. And my advice would be taste it as you're making it, because you know, you might want to add a little bit more honey or add a little bit more acid. A squeeze of lime, uh, lemon juice would also be nice in here, too. Okay? So that's our dressing for our salad. Simple as that. And then we're going to, I got my bowl of arugula. And I always kind of look through my, my lettuce just to make sure there's not like a, you know, one of those little kind of gross, wilted dead things in there. And then we've got... You're getting salad all over the counter. Oh, sorry. We've got all over the counter. Yeah, keep it though. And you put a gross one back in there. Come out. <laughs> uh, radishes, because you know we used radishes last week, so I still had some radishes and carrots are going to go right in the salad. And you can use any nut you like, um, almonds, walnuts, but Mo and I really like pistachios. Make sure they're roasted and slightly salted. How's that fish? It's got to be turned over. Yeah, I got to turn the fish. Uh, Curtis, would you switch the camera, please? Thank you. I need to come over there. No, he switched the camera. You can go get another piece of the cheese cracker. Oh, I set my phone down and oh, jeez, I turned my phone off. Oh my God, what did I do? Yeah, what did you do? Well, he's got to be able to hear you, so I'm gonna put the. Oh, okay. If, if you um if you try to flip your fish and it's it, it's sticking, it's not ready to be flipped. But this is going to flip real nice. Look at that. It's nice and black, and I'm going to roll it around a little bit more oil. But it's important that we oiled it too. So this one's ready as well. And sometimes you don't have to cook it as long on the second side as you do the first. Look at that. And, and that's what you want. Yeah, this isn't going to take much longer at all. This is a quick meal. 
the, the probably the most time consuming thing about this is is the prep is um you know cutting up the vegetables because really and, and making the dressing which really didn't take that long not that big a deal is your phone good enough what do you mean can we use it yep okay so we'll switch back to that I'm over here and we'll off the sound bear saying i should fire that camera guy <laughs> What what did I do, Bear? That's twice. I think that's twice I've turned off my phone or something. I don't know. All right. So we're just going to. I'm not going to use all this dressing. I don't like an overdressed salad. What you can do is just pour some of it on there and serve the rest at the table. If some people like a little bit more dressing, I'd rather have a little too little dressing than too much dressing. And then we just give it a toss. Simple as that. And if you feel like it doesn't have enough dressing, throw a little bit more on there. But again, you can always just put it at the table. You can't take away dressing. Yeah. You can add dressing. That's why I, I'm one of those annoying people at a restaurant. Can I have my dressing on the side, please? Because sometimes you get a salad and it's drowning in dressing. Nobody would want it. And there's Roland. Huh? Nothing. Okay. All right. I'm just going to take that plate. You're going to put the salad down first. Who else you want to get food, Kim? Yeah, Kim says, I have a question. Why do you only make enough for two? Who isn't eating? <laughs> I mean, think we only have two people in we this house. <laughs> you want some for the cats? Yeah, you think your cat's going to be eating this? I mean, sometimes if it's, a, if it's a recipe I think Curtis will like, I'll, I'll make him a plate and bring it the next day. Right, Curtis? Yeah. I won't do that with this. Yeah, Kim Curtis is not here. He's he's. Uh, I don't <laughs> live with them. I have my own place. Yeah, Curtis is at his place, and he's running the show from his place. I'm gonna check on the fish. All right. There's a fat cat down there somewhere. At least there was bear. Yeah, there was a. He, yeah, he walked by, and he's being quiet. So I ain't gonna mess with him. Gordon, are you really looking for a waterbed, Gordon? <laughs> Can you even buy water beds anymore? That's a good question. No, Curtis isn't at our house. Uh, he, he's at his house. He's running this on something called StreamYard. So he he runs the show from his house, and uh, and now she says, "Never mind." Now, now she seems very <laughs> frustrated with us. Kim's like, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kim's like, I'm over you guys. I spend enough time with them in the day. You want me to be in their house too? <laughs> All right. So over here, Mo. Oh yeah, yeah. Gordon's talking about the comment we made this morning on the show. That Sally used to have a water bed. I did. And water beds kind of disappeared, just without anybody knowing. So. All right, here we go. Well, that was fast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. that looks fantastic. Look at that presentation. You know, my mom never gave a, she never gave a damn about presentation when it came to putting stuff on a plate. And if you'd like, a little squeeze of lemon. Did your mom, Curtis, growing up? Yeah. Well, we always ate plate style. She didn't? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, my mom didn't like put together a plate for each person. We had everything on the middle of the table, and you just, yeah. All right. So let me slide that piece of fish off. That was a little thicker, so I kept going. Okay. What do you think, guys? Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. That, I love that crust, the salad, and the fish should be nice and flaky, which it is. A little piece of fish. Mm. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah, well, you put a lot of spice on there. Mm. Well, it's got Cajun in it. Oh yeah. See that? See how it's kind of glistening? That's perfect. You don't want to overcook your fish because it's terrible overcooked. Yes. We have our share of overcooked fish. Here, now I'll give you a try. Mm. Nice. 
see. Let me do that better. There we go. Ready? See, that's a nice, elegant little dinner for you. And it was nothing. Mmm. That's delicious. Wow. Mmm. You like the spice level? Yep. Yep. So, so we good. like spice. You don't have to put as much seasoning on it if you don't want to. Oh, you can dial it way down. Mm-hmm. Eric yeah, says, if you, if looks you good. I just, I just finished cooking up some lasagna pinwheels again. Your recipe. Oh, I love those lasagna pinwheels. They're so much fun. Lasagna pinwheels. Oh, I, it's been I a while. I once for Elton Brown, remember? From the Food Network. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. That's a good dish right there. Yeah. And it was really and quick. It was really quick. You could, you know, you could make the dressing in advance. You could make this. Um, the blackened seasoning in advance, and then all you have to do is, and you can cut up your veggies in advance, and then dinner's ready in 15 minutes. Nice. There you go. Hey, everybody. Uh, once again, if you don't mind uh, sharing this video so other people can see it, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we, we got lecture on stuff like that. Too. Yeah, we need bigger numbers, <laughs> or we're all going to be fired. <laughs> So uh, get the recipe at 1055online.com. Curtis also put it in the feed. Thank you, Curtis. Go to Doris Whoa. Italian Market, our sponsor. Get your ingredients. Uh, that's a fun place to shop. If you've never been to Doris, they've got six locations in South Florida. We go to the one in North Palm Beach, and uh, it is just... It's our happy place. I look forward to going there every Thursday. I do, too. It's fun. You can shop with wine. Get yourself a wine card. People there are so nice. Taste uh, the wine. They've got a great bakery. They've got a great deli, uh, a great meat section. I mean, uh, seafood just, and the guys in the seafood section know what they're talking about. It really is quality. Yeah. So, and the guys in the wine section can help you out as well. And you want to try this? Remember, the mahi is on sale. Yep, it's fantastic. Oh, and they've got great cheese there too. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tomorrow on the show, we've got a uh, birthday prank call. We've I got, love tomorrow's birthday prank call. It's uh, yeah. It's good, and we've got uh, more Lion Country Safari tickets. Thousand bucks at nine o'clock. I mean, who couldn't use a thousand bucks, right? With the workday payday. Got all that going on tomorrow, so make sure you wake up and join us. And join us on Facebook Live around uh, seven thirty tomorrow. Always fun hanging out with you guys on Facebook Live. Uh, Rachel says, uh, "Hi guys, I'm late. Love you guys." Well, Rachel, you can always rewatch the video. Yeah, you sure can. Thanks for joining us, though. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good night. Bye.